Hey guys, it's Gene. I'm at Myrtle Beach. I made it. I've got the V3i and my sand scoop. The beach is sloping pretty steeply and I see a little trough. I'm going to start working this out and I'm going to show you how the V3i does in the salt water. Awesome. First find so far. I worked the uh, low spot. <clears throat> I mean, it's just not cut out enough. It's kind of cut some, but uh, really got one pull tap signal. Kind of went up to the high water line and just got my first uh, jewelry find. Looks like some kind of toe ring. Probably costume jewelry. Should be anything else. Hey guys, I'm working the sand with the V3i. Just got some other kind of really big ring. I'm not sure what this is, but probably junk, big heavy man's ring. We'll check it out and see what it is. Hey guys, I got the V3i. Kind of running my, my normal modified high pro program. But I'm running the uh, salt, uh, three frequency salt setting. I just tossed a quarter down in extreme wet sand, about eight inches deep, just to test and see if I can uh, hear that one. So it's down there, it's already filling in with uh, sand. I'm gonna kick some sand over it. See if I can All right guys, here's that eight inch quarter in the soaking wet sand. Very jumpy. All right, guys. I think I got it figured out a little bit better. I switched to uh, relic mode, then put it on three frequency salt. It's hitting way, way, way better than the program I had or the Salt Beach program. I got the headphones on, but it's just getting 83, 84. 85, 84, much, much better. So I'm going to fart around with that. I think that's the best setting for this. Relic mode with the salt on. It's doing a lot better than the other uh, stock programs. And even my uh, custom program, which really works great inland, isn't cutting the mustard here. So we're going to mess around, see if I can find anything in this mode. Hey guys, I'm going to show you the settings I ended up using uh, at the beach. Uh, that ended up working the best for me. I'm definitely not an expert with the V3i on the uh, beach yet. That's my first real trip with it, but uh, you know, inland I'm doing pretty good with it. And uh, I think I worked out a pretty good uh, basic program to get started. Seemed to get the uh, best depth with anything I've done so far. Got my RX Gain 13, all metal 65, disc 80. Ground tracking, uh, lock track and salt mode. Ground balance, anytime I change from uh, wet to dry or in between, ground balance a lot seemed to help. Uh, running the 5 hertz bandpass filter. Sat 20, recovery 80. Search audio, no big deal. Transmit frequency, I'm running the salt, best data. And the uh, standard uh, uh, relic mode discrimination pattern. Um, that really seemed to do uh, a lot better than anything else I could come up with. The uh, stock uh, salt beach program 
was pretty good. It just wasn't nearly as deep as this. And on the dry sand, it was really, uh, it still worked pretty good. But I noticed when you turn on the three frequency uh, salt compensate mode, it does kind of hurt your depth just a little bit, like if you're testing in normal soil. But uh, with the 950 coil, I really like this coil because it, it really just doesn't pick up EMI or anything like the D2. And uh, you can really run really high sensitivities and uh, uh, make up for a lot of that. So uh, as you saw in my testing, I was, you know, really started picking up the quarter and stuff way better when I hit uh, this relic mode. <clears throat> and you get your kind of like all metal threshold. Uh, you can hear the whole time and uh, you know then you can hear the little iron pieces and stuff like that and all metals but the disc is, is really what I was paying attention to the most and uh, you may have to adjust your volume because it seems like on the beach with the wind and stuff like that that you know turn up your uh, threshold volume and your overall volume just a hair well really the threshold volume so you can make sure you're maintaining a decent uh, threshold in all metals kind of tells you if your uh, ground balance is uh, good or not. If it kind of fades away to nothing, that you may need to uh, re-ground balance. I'm going to show you guys the uh, ring and stuff I found. All right, guys. Here's just a little sample of the stuff I found. I did want to talk about these rusty bottle caps. They came in at a much lower VDI than when I've been land hunting and this is probably the first time I've ever thought about using the bottle cap reject feature usually on land I, I can really tell a bottle cap uh, pretty quick by a three frequency pinpointing but um, there were so many of these in the sand I thought you know I want to see if this really works I put the uh, bottle cap reject setting on one and these just disappeared in the dry sand I mean, that was really, really amazing. Uh, I guess because they're so rusty, they were reading like a 14. I mean, just strange VDIs, but hit one on bottle cap reject, and bang, all this rusty iron was gone. Got the normal clad, you know, quarters, pennies. Uh, that's really not all of it. But, uh, you know, the fishing weights. One of these big uh, three-ounce ones. Actually, hang on to that one. It's in good shape. Can use it next uh, vacation when I do some uh, fishing from the pier. Then a little small weight. Just snagged this cool little shell. Surface fine. There really weren't a lot of nice shells. So I was kind of walking around and saw this one. Uh, just scooped it up with my scoop and threw it in my pouch. Pretty cool. Here's that little uh, toe ring. It's like some kind of turtle. And, uh, you know, it just looks costumey. There's no 925 marking or anything like that on there. But, you know, any kind of ring to me is an exciting find. I mean, this was just a really short two day weekend thing. I live like five hours from the beach. And, uh, you know, I just said, heck, I'm going to do a quick run and have a little fun. And I really did. I got to enjoy some uh, awesome weather, um, 77 degrees. And, uh, you know, currently, this is a few days later. It's Halloween now. And tomorrow here in uh, the North Carolina mountains, you know, near Blowing Rock, they're calling for snow. You know, like four to six inches of snow tomorrow. So that's a huge change. <laughs> I'm missing the beach already. Bad. Well, there's the ring I found. This thing was crazy deep in the dry sand. Um, I mean, about a foot deep. And uh, it's got a small stone in it. I'm going to assume that that's a, a CZ, you know. There's so many. This is a tungsten carbide, like, wedding band, apparently. I found a lot of varieties of these when I looked it up. And, uh couldn't really find this particular uh, maker's name. I mean, this is on many, many sites, and, uh, you know, these are relatively cheap. Um, 
depending on where you look. I mean, some of these are thirty dollars to you know over a hundred dollars, but I guess tungsten carbide's the new uh, thing. It's so hard uh, when they polish this stuff; it'll uh, really never scratch, and uh, they're super smooth and rounded. So this one's a little small for me. I think this is probably about a size 10 but uh, I mean a heavy heavy ring <clears throat> so this could have just as easily have been you know a gold ring. This is heavier than I'd say it's gold counterpart but uh, too bad it wasn't because this would be a hunk of gold. You know really exciting find really got happy uh, when I got it um, you know, the beach conditions weren't super low. Um, so I was punching down. I think I was lucky lucky to find what I found. I mean, it, there really wasn't any decent cuts or a shell layer or, you know, heavy coin layer. I did see a lot of guys on the beach uh, hunting in the dry sand with, like, Ace 250s and all kinds of stuff. So it was really uh, getting pounded pretty good. And I'd say, you know, Myrtle Beach, there's been books written about Myrtle Beach, so people really do hit that one. Um, but when the conditions are right down there, um, you can really, really find some stuff. But uh, overall, I had a great time, and the V3i did really well. I think as I uh, try that a little bit more, uh, you know, get to use the V3i more, I'll probably be able to uh, figure out a little bit more settings with it to, uh, to do even better. But uh, so far, you know, I think for primarily a land hunting machine, uh, having the three uh, frequency salt comp mode uh, will get you down there having a good time at the beach. So uh, really happy with it. I want to thank all my subscribers and thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.